So, welcome back to Hollow Knight, everybody. New title screen, because we've officially beaten the game now. And I really just have one goal for this stream. My goal is to just get better at the Nightmare King Grim battle. I'm not even necessarily going... I'm not even going into this expecting that I'm going to beat him this stream. I also don't know if I'm going to spend the whole stream just attempting to beat him or not, but at the very least, at the end of the last stream, I was making some progress, and I seem to be getting a bit of his pattern down, so... Well, you never know. But I'm not even expecting to beat him this stream, I'm just expecting to get better at the fight, and that's really all I'm hoping for. And this way, if I just go in expecting I'm not going to beat him this stream, I hopefully won't get upset and salty. Set realistic goals, my friends. That's the key. I could first try it. Press X to doubt. <laughs> Somehow I don't think that's going to happen, but you never know. Alright, what badge setup do we want? Oh, that's right, we set up the badges last time. So yeah, Soul Catcher, Quick Focus, Mark of Pride, and we need Grim Child to actually go into the fight. Yeah, so we'll we'll try it with this badge setup. I'm gonna try actually try to take advantage of the healing. I can heal during his vine attack. Boom! And as, as always, every single stream, my chair gets noisier. It's just, it's a thing that happens. <laughs> Hi, Marty! Welcome! I Oh, I'm gonna die. A hundred times I'm going to die. I gotta get into the groove of the fight again. Oh look, I'm already dead! <laughs> oh, that's true. It's a dream fight, so I don't die during it. I <laughs> Much like the game where Let's Play, Marty, it, the whole thing's just a dream. No spoilers on that. can't die in a dream, though. Yikes! Oh, that's right, I forgot about his lightning attack. Ouch. Shoot. Ouch. Yeah, that is tough. Hmm. Yikes. Oh yeah, definitely just like Piglet's big movie. <laughs> no, no question. Hey, Mobius, what's up? Whoop Hey, I, I like... I'm a big fan of Dracula, so I'll take any Dracula references I can get. I also anticipate not as much talking this stream compared to other streams, because I am going to spend a lot of time concentrating. I hate it when he does that. Ow, I hate it when he does that as well. And that. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Hi, Galadivore. Welcome. Yeah, yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I probably am biting off more than I can chew in this fight. But you know what? At least the first five seconds of this psalm are really, really good. Mm, 
that's weird. It wouldn't let me double jump. All right. I <laughs> I'm going to change my badge setup because the, the quick healing really isn't... I thought I could use the quick healing to heal twice during the vine attack. I cannot. I can still only heal once, so I don't think it's going to do anything. So I'm better off using something else. Maybe I don't even want the Mark of Pride, either. Part of me wants the Steady... Mm, steady Body might be more bad than good, though. I like the Mark of Pride. Fury of the Fallen. I really like this, the increased strength that I get when I'm at low HP. What else could I equip that's free or higher? Honestly, Sprint Master could be a good choice. I don't anticipate really using that much soul this fight. So I don't really want the stuff that gives me soul. Hmm. I'll try Steady Body. And I'll try Sprint Master. Actually, not Steady Body, but I will try Sprint Master. <sighs> Part of me wants to take the Spider Friends just for the heck of it. No, Lifeblood Heart. That extra HP, I think, will actually potentially come in handy. I don't think... The Spider Friends would only really be there for moral support. I don't anticipate that they would do much damage against him. I don't think the spider friends are functionally all that great, but you pick them for the meme. Like Marky Dubois in the baseball team. I need to get better at not running into the fireballs. But they always just seem to fall right where I am. Okay, cool. If I get hit once more, then my attack power increases. I have. I need to get better at attacking him when he's when he does that at move. Yeah, like, I can see... Yeah, I can see what I need to do. It's just getting the reaction time down. Especially when he teleports in the air and then does his ground dash, then another dash. Like, I can hit him when he does that, but I don't know why. I have a really hard time avoiding it. Or hitting it. And I have a really hard time avoiding the explosive blasts from above. There we go. I probably shouldn't be trying to get free attacks in on him when he does this move. That seems to just end in disaster. Darn it, I keep hitting his tiny little ballerina legs, which still pack a punch. Oh, that's right, he can do this- oh, actually, I haven't seen him do that attack as the Nightmare King. 
Yeesh! I remember him doing that attack in his earlier fight, but oof. Yeah, this this kind of reminds me of like it's like a more extreme version of an S rank Cuphead battle. How duck gun it? Yeah, it feels like when he does his fireball attack, no matter where I go, the fireball lands on in my head. Like, I don't think it's a set pattern of fireballs every single time. I think it can fluctuate, and that can really screw me over. This is also where I really wish I had my fragile gree or my fragile strength, but no, the lady ate it and refuses to give it back unless I give her 15,000 Geo, of which I do not have. That would make this fight a lot... That would make this fight a little bit easier. Okay, I'm getting a lot better at his air dash attack. I say after I take a hit from it. Yikes! Yikes. Alright, alright. So far, so good. Gotta watch out for his pufferfish attack, though. Because I thought I forgot that was a fame. Youch. Youch. No, oh, I thought I pogoed off of him. Rats. I don't think I've even made it halfway through this boss battle, by the way. I'm pretty sure he had like four or five phases in his first non-Nightmare Keen incarnation. So I can only imagine that this fight's gonna go on for a while. The problem is, if you miss the Pogo Slash, then you get hit. Yay! Wow! He flew for the air much faster than I was expecting. At least now... Well, no, I'm not in super-powered mode anymore. I was. I'm, I appreciate he backs off when he does his energy blast attack. 
That was weird. Uh oh. Rats. That attack's not too bad, though. Again, it's like Iceman's attack from Mega Man 1. But you're not on icy floor, so it's easier to deal with. <laughs> yes, Nightmare King Grimm's theme is called just Nightmare King. I would know. I played that uh, soundtrack on my stream starting screen. <laughs> In preparation. This is not off to a great start. Arg! I hate the fireballs. <sighs> I hit him four times. Wow. I forget if I equip the extra range on my nail, because it really doesn't feel like I have extra range on my nail. Very surprised I did not get hit by the fire. Ouch. I always forget that those pillars have the, uh... Yeesh. Good night, Goliath of War. See you later. Perhaps a change in badges is necessary. Maybe I should just go for all the range. Because some of these moves are not really helping me all that much. So I do have the extra range. I'm not noticing a difference with Sprint Master. Hmm. So I think I'm going to go Lull Nail. What else? I got a plan for the Soul Catcher. It's kind of my go-to. And... I think Steady Body would actually screw me up more than it wouldn't. So I'll, go I'll keep Sprint Master for the time being. I'm going I'm going to max range on my nail though. I want to keep as much dif distance between me and him as possible when I'm pogoing on his head. Again, really wish I did not need the grim child taking up two of my pin slots. Every freaking time, man. Oh, yeah. Ah, well, that didn't last long. I hate those fireballs so much. Apparently, you can move while using the dream nail occasionally. Do 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 Is Grim just dreaming his this good? Cause all of this is Grim's dream, so it's like he's pretending he's cooler than he actually is.
I'm gonna try using my shoot the spirit move at him when he does that attack. Alright, here we go. Okay, that move's not too bad. Alright, things are going a lot better now. He might be getting a little bit faster. Oh, I got so. Mm. I was. I got. I got closer that time. I'm. I'm very happy with how that turned out. Hey, don't worry, DX. No, there's never an. Ob there's never an obligation to join my stream, but I am happy to see you. Welcome, welcome. We're making actually pretty good progress on Nightmare Grim. So yeah, things are going pretty well. Also, my car broke down on Monday. Got it fixed today. Shoutouts to my dad for showing up to help me. Ah, oh, darn it. Okay, that fireball attack still catches me off. Okay, the extra wall nail is really helping me for his dash attack from the air. Whoops. Ouch. Rats. This is becoming a more manageable fight, yeah. Okay, he definitely he definitely seems to get faster as the phases go on cuz I used to have enough time for a full heal, heal each time and now it really feels like I don't. Uh, my car does not have a name. It's just my car. I give names to living creatures, not to inanimate objects. I 
I cat sit for people, but. <laughs> My parents have a cat. He's he's weird, but I love him. Did I just waste my soul healing when I was at full HP? I did. That's funny. Ouch. Yeah, you definitely don't have as much time to heal in this phase of the fight as you did in the earlier phases. So I'm going to focus on trying to stay safe. But I'll heal right here, of course. Oh no. Okay. Survived that time. Ouch. No, oh, I got too greedy. Rats. <laughs> got co I'm getting closer, though. I'm actually enjoying this fight. I think the music has a lot to do with it. If you've got really good music, it can make a fight, a really annoying fight, a lot more bearable. I think I got lucky with the pattern of the second Pufferfish. If there are too many of those blasts where you have to jump over one blast on the ground, but there's also one in the air you've got to not jump into, that really that's really difficult to time that properly. Finally have the pattern to dodge those fireballs.
Yeah, I hate I hate it when you gotta like do a short hop to go in between two fireballs in this. Okay, well that was embarrassing. Cool, I got free heals in. <sighs> oh. I'm at the point where I don't think I can reliably heal during the, the vine attack. Darn it. That, okay. Well, that just all went to pot at the end. This Solomon right here might be my favorite Solomon in the game as well. This Solomon and the Lost Kin theme are kind of forever burned into my head. I'm glad this is not a fight where he seems to get more moves each phase. That would make it a lot more annoying. Like if every phase was totally different like a Cuphead fight, I think it would be too much. Was dumb. <laughs> yeah, sorry, folks. I can't read Twitch chat while during the fight. I have to, like, in between my attempts, I can reach out and catch up on it. I'll leave it up to you to figure out why. Nice to see Sydney's playing Animal Crossing New Horizons still. Yeah, I, I just need to stop trying to get so greedy during this fight. Because that's where most of my mistakes are coming from. Ow. Alright, can I get free heals in? I can! That was risky. If he had done a different attack, I might have taken some, a hit. Oh no. <sighs> Cannot dash during that. I know that now.
Vous... Alright, surely we must be getting kind of close to the end, right? Oh no! Thank you for doing that attack and letting me heal. Just gotta be less greedy, and it's not as hard. Oh no. Oh, I don't like being on this side of the screen when he does this. It feels like I have less room to work with. Darn it. I wasted all my soul. He's still not dead. Man, this guy's got a lot of health. Still not dead. That was weird. I do not think I should have been hit there. I cannot believe I did. Oh, doggone it. I got hit by the fireball. Oh! Oh, I did it! You know what? I'll say it. That guy was not as hard as the Lost Kin. At least given the equipment I have now, based on the equipment I had for the Lost Kin when I fought them. I I had an easier time with this fight than the Lost Kin. Well, I still have... Well, we still have Satan, I guess. <laughs> the circus tent is destroyed. <laughs> oh, you're still here. Why don't I have enough Geo? I thought I might get some Geo from doing that fight. I suppose not. Uh, how much? I have 1600 Essence. I believe I can get the next prize now. Aha, good riddance! That creepy carnival has vanished and the town's returned to its former self. Nice and quiet, as I like it. It's quite enough to deal with just the occasional traveler. Whole structures appearing out of nowhere, dreadful music, horrific masks, all more than one old bug should have to face. That was great music. What you talking about? So now I should have the max level Grim Child. I don't want it anymore. I'll get the compass back. I want all the stuff that can get me Geo, basically. Soul Catcher, that's a good one. What else could we get? Maybe the Hive Blood? Nah, not, not Hive Oh, Quick Focus. That's a good one. And I like Steady Body. Well, I kind of thought that would take the whole stream, but it didn't. 
So, if that's the case... Is there anything else in this house? Or did we already do it all? The Grey Prince, heaving heavy breaths, flush from the exertion of battle. Is this still talking about me? Yeah, I, I'd already read that. Wait. I can do this again? What? No, this is different. No, it's not different. This seems similar. Uh, maybe not. Okay, this I think is a little bit different. Okay, no, this is definitely different. His little mooks have a lot more HP. Okay. Wow! He gains an adjective? I did not notice that. Okay! So there's a that fight is actually different. If we keep beating him up... We beat him up once and she thinks less of him. If we beat him up again, she might think even less of him. Oh, this... Okay. Alright, unequip all of this nonsense. McAfee, take a hint. I'm not renewing my antivirus. Alright. Uh, Soul Catcher is good. We definitely, definitely, definitely want Quick Slash. Uh, probably Quick Focus. And what else? Let's see if the Grim Child will help us out for this. I mean, we have him now, so... <laughs> I love how D DX did a very big 180 from like, I love Marshmallow, he's great! Now like, oh my gosh, I hate him, he's terrible. <laughs> Gorgeous, passionate, terrified, beautiful, powerful, Grey Prince. <laughs> Big bosses like this seem to kind of melt before the might of Quick Slash. I keep I I keep forgetting about like half of my soul moves. Thank you, Grimchild. I can do that, too. Alright, Zotes learned some new moves. But wasn't enough. I beat him again. Yeah. So it's still glowing, so it looks like I can do it again. <laughs> new favorite girl, fa new favorite character is the girl with a bag over her head. Interesting. Well, let's try it again, but first. Great Prince, your words. Oh, so, so she's still thinking about that. Well, the Grim Child actually kind of helped me out. He was keeping the little uh, spider zotes at bay. Well, let's try this again. <laughs> 
I think this time I'm actually going to need a strategy and not just hack and slash him like crazy. So, oh, diligent, overwhelming, gorgeous, passionate, terrifying, beautiful, powerful, great prince, though. Alright, yeah, he's got some new moves. But, um, Lost Kin, you are not. Okay, all right, he's got the moves now. He's got the moves. <laughs> Ghost Mellows? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna beat Zoda again today. In my girlfriend, ex-girlfriend's dreams. But I still gotta say, if the girl I liked it left me for someone, like, a tool like this, I don't want that girl at no more. It's hard for me to tell exactly how much the Grim Child is actually doing. I think he's doing a lot, though. No! He summoned the bomb on my head! This fight is different from the second one, though. And he keeps getting more adjectives, so... This is a very different boss. That was weird. Wouldn't let me jump there. But I thought we weren't Hollow Knight. We're just some bug. Oh, I gotta keep, I gotta remember. I have soul attacks. I should use them. I should at least use like the down ground pound attack. I hate that attack, because he can literally fall anywhere he wants.
Darn you! Player character is just known as the Knight. I'm gonna call him... Bone. Because it looks like he's wearing a skull hat. I When I just saw, like, promotional material or screenshots of the game, before I knew everything was a bug, I thought Hollow Knight was like a skeleton. Also, Zote, for a big fat guy, you are recovering remarkably quickly. Well, that was a close feign. <laughs> that was a close shave, Gromit. Dog on it! He collapsed at the worst possible time. So it is supposed to be muscular. Ah, no, nah, he's fat. At the very least, even if that is muscle, that still weighs a lot. He shouldn't be able to get up off the ground all that quickly. In fact, muscle weighs more than fat. See, I don't take kindly to you making explosives right in my face, bro. Spawned on me, stupid. I think we got a good badge setup, though. The little grim child is definitely helping me. He seems to be a distraction for the little goons that Zote summons. The problem is this guy's a little too unpredictable. Like, it's hard to predict where he's gonna land, it's hard to predict where he's going to dash. Where and when he's gonna dash. And you really don't... Be 
Like, look at that. How the heck was I supposed to know he was going to dash ru or land right there? And there's not really any opportunities to heal unless you stun him. Even with the quick focus. <laughs> this better be the last Zote fight we have to deal with, because if it gets any harder than this, I don't see me being able to cope well with that. Oh, is that what the Grim Child was doing? Is oh, that's why he's getting up so quickly. It's because Grim Child keeps. Mm. Well, then in that case, maybe I should retire the Grim Child. Because that's definitely being really annoying. Even so, like he he was not woken by the Grim Child that time, and he still woke up quicker than I would expect. You missed, Grimchild. No downward dash for me. Yeah, I'm gonna swap out the Grimchild for something else. Because this is not working. So he's worth two. So I right now I have the Soul Catcher, the Quicks... I have so much soul, I don't think I need more from the Soul Catcher. Perhaps that's a mistake, but... Oh, I don't have steady body. That will help. And maybe Mark of Pride as well. Let's try that. What about strength? Well, unfortunately, Fat Worm Lady ate my strength boosting one. And the one where I only have extra strength at 1 HP is probably not great. Actually, Steady Body might be bad for this fight. Because in that case where I keep hitting him but uh, he's chasing towards me, the recoil can actually be a nice thing to have. Yeah, take that. Darn it! These stupid little... Oh, doggone it, I mistook the background, the Zode in the background for one of his minions. Rats. The arena seems kind of empty without the red shooty friend. Yeah, possibly. The problem now is, like, if he summons the little zotes, my grim child can't keep them at bay.
I like it when he stays in one place and just lets me slash him over and over again. I feel like in this fight, though, if you get hit once, you get hit all the times, basically. Darn it! Couldn't react fast enough. This is indeed the boss rush stream. Will I be able to beat Zoat in less time than I beat Nightmare Keen Grim? I hate it how he can just, like, change where he's going to land on a whim. <sighs> it was very close. Thank you. Knocked him out. All right. Darn it! I, ah, I ricocheted harder than. Meh. <laughs> Welcome back, Marty. I need that chocolate-covered raisin luck. I beat the super difficult Nightmare King Grim, but now I'm having a trouble beating Fat Boy Rival. Even though he's objectively way easier. But he has all of those adjectives. True story. Darn it, he changed where he was going to land again. Thank you, Marty. No! Come on, knock him out. This guy has so much HP, what the heck? There we go!
How many... How many of his... <laughs> well, that was kind of perfectly timed. You gotta be kidding me. I can go back again. I don't want to go back again. Surely... Surely she must be, like... Very much turned off by now. Great Prince, you seem smaller. Were you always so tattered and stained? Is he saying different stuff? No, I... I don't think so. I can't remember. He was so boring. Well, I mean, I don't know what else we can do in the game, so... I guess we'll see if he's any different now. Jeez the war. Jeez Louise. Brett is dreaming really hard about this guy. Is this like a metaphor for teenage girls crushing on fictional characters too much? Alright, vigorous, diligent, overwhelming, gorgeous, passion. Did he just deal two damage with one attack? It sure looked like it. Yes, he's doing two damage with one attack. Great. That actually really, really sucks. Okay. Mm. If you want to nudge me in the right direction, that's fine. But other, th other than the arena... I really don't know what else to do. I, I could tell that, Simpsons are us. He's, he's clearly getting stronger. But I feel like the more I beat him up, the weaker he should get. The Howling Cliffs? But I already did the Howling Cliffs. I think I just need to be less greedy with how often I hit Zo, or how many times I go to hit Zo. Ouch! Otherwise, that can happen. Oh. I could do the flower side quest, but I'm not going to do the flower side quest. Because that side quest seems very stupid. Alright. I want to make money for the house. All right, Halloween Cliffs. What's the last new thing I got? I don't even remember. I think. Oh, I think it was the the descending dark. I almost completed the flower side quest before I got hit. No, I didn't. I wasn't even close. I made it to this, the same world that I needed to deliver the flower in, but I still don't know where the grave is in that world, and that world is filled to the brim with enemies that can just snipe you out of nowhere. The Elegant Key. Don't know where that would go. The King's Brand. Hollow Nest's ancient places shall open. Yeah, I haven't found anything like that. I think the King's Brand is just a decoration. Run! Right, no, no! Stop sucking me back up!
Oh, wait, is this just immediately back where I was? Yeah, it is. That's right, you gotta take the stag over there. Oh, I can't read the map while going Super Grover. I am disappointed. Yes, I'm being deliberately obtuse. I'm sure the king's crown is not just decoration. I know you'd never steer me wrong. What do you mean I don't have a map for this area? If I say I have a map... If I say you're getting a reward, you're getting a reward. An empty eggshell. There's absolutely nothing there. So here I am in the Howling Cliffs. I'm pretty sure I've been everywhere here. Because I did a Super Grover dive off the end of there, and it's just like, oh, well, you're back in Dirt Mouth. Hey, lady. I am Gorb. Bow, 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 bow to Gorb. Of oh, the great mind, I am Gorb. Ascend, descend, 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 descend with Gorb. Challenge the warrior dream. I can take on Gorb. Also, Gorb was not here when I went to the Howling Cliffs earlier. Okay, Gorb means business. Seems like a very simple fight. Okay, now you're bringing out the teleports. Well, Gorb was a cinch. You call that a fight? I am Gorb, the great mind, the pain, ascend, ascend. I, I am. You defeated. Yeah, I don't trust Gorb. Here lies Gorb, the great mind. Soon to be forgotten. Was Gorb the only thing to do here? <laughs> or is there more? I didn't- I even beat Gorb without even having close to optimum badge equipment. Okay, nope, there's more. Alright, alright, alright. Look close to the bench. Eh, well, now that you mention it, I could take a little rest. Oh-ho! <laughs> Gorb, we hardly knew ye. I think I went back here already. Oh, hey! Hmm. Oh, well, wait, I've been here before, but he there was nothing here. Yes, I thought I could sense the aura of a fierce warrior approaching. I'm impressed you found my sanctuary here at the top of the world. No doubt you've endured many trials and overcome many foes in your quest to find me. No, don't speak a word. I, Nail Master Mato, was, who was taught by the art of the nail, by the great Nail Sage himself, hereby accept you as my pupil. Let us begin the lesson immediately. Oh yeah, the nail arts. I never use these. Like, literally never. They don't seem very good. But I do love the animated cutscenes. Master the Cyclone Slash. Hold Y to concentrate en energy into the nail. Release the button while holding up or down to perform the Cyclone Slash. Again, I don't like charging my nail. I like doing yeah, so death by a thousand cuts instead. Your form. Exquisite. Now I know how to my own master felt when he passed down his teachings to us. 
I hope you don't think me too forward when I say that I consider you to be my child. That was fast! Yes! When I saw you perform my nail art, I felt a bond between us immediately flash into existence. This is gonna be a boss fight, isn't it? You honor me beyond words, my pupil. Thank you. Vama. Finna. Vama. Finna. No, I want to bow to him. My brother, Shio. How fare you in that green kingdom of thorns you call home? I think of you every time I raise my nail. Do you ever close your eyes and remember the time we spent together with Oro and our master? I like to think you do. What's the motto with you? Ah! Da! Okay, that... That looks cool, but it takes too long to do. I'd much rather use just the regular... Nail swings. Okay, I'm not sure why those two guys didn't appear when on my first trip to the Halloween Peaks. I'm good. Woo! I don't think I'll be defeating Zote a third time this stream. I've already defeated him three times. I'm kind of disappointed there's a fourth one. Someone that's not Zoe. Uh, be, well, we'll see. These stalactites trying so hard to defeat me. Don't they even know who I am. I'll figure that out later. They'll probably start at 7 or 8. Pre oh, he is saying different things. Precept 4, forget your past. If the past is painful, and thinking about your past can only bring you misery. Think about something else instead, such as the future, or some food. I mean, I do like thinking about food. I'm pretty sure they're just cleaned out for good. Sorry, I can't let go of the Bacchanada. Bacchabagio? Hey, Savage, welcome! Last time I said I had four skull fanes in the corner, I've, I've played a lot more since then. I've actually beaten the game, I'm in the post-game now. Defeated a lot of the bonus bosses, including Nightmare Keen. All right. I really need to figure out where that stupid grave is with the flower. No offense, Aras, but have you played the game? If you just say your ideas, that's not really giving hints. That's more just voicing your opinions if you don't actually know where to go. Oh, uh, where to go. Yeah, I, st I still have no idea where the dumb old grave is. Because I don't want to go to the deep nest. Yeah, so if, if people who haven't played the game give me hints, that's not really, like, spoiling things. It's just, like, I... I think, I'll, I think we can leave the hint giving up to Proxima and DX and anyone else who's actually played and beaten the game. Ow, my butt! Is this... This leads off to Green Path. So there's supposed to be, like, a huge flower garden somewhere, which is where- OW! My feet! Hmm. 
weird flower lady was like, oh my goodness, like, plant this in the in the grave where there are a bunch of other flowers. At least I think that's what she said. I don't actually remember. Ow! My posterior. Ow! My groin! You never promised... She said plant the flower in the Queen's Gardens, where there's like a hundred flowers. She mentioned something about a grave as well. I went up there before. I don't think that's where the grave is. So now I'm back in Green Path. So we, uh, we've, we've lost our way. I don't even know why I'm bothering finding that. I, I don't want to do the flower side quest. <sighs> that was close. Is it going to be obvious when I find the grave? Or is it going to be like, oh no, it's just this thing right here. It better be obvious. I wouldn't say about July is going to be that much more of a busy month than this month is. It's just bu busy in a different way. When I get to it, I'll know it. Alright. Now I guess this, there's just... This is not the Queen's Gardens anymore. I also gotta be careful, because if I die, I my greed charm gets broken. Again, we're not in. I swear I've gone everywhere in the Queen's Gardens. I've been, like, everywhere on the right side. I went there when I actually was attempting the flower side quest. Whew. Yeah, there's some hard games out there. Dark Souls, Cuphead, Zelda 2, Bear Stormin. Collecting 100% in Animal Crossing, the list goes on. Mega Man 2 is definitely hard. Aha! Uh -huh. So that's a bench, but I don't think this is the grave. Have not played Repton 2. There better be like a big and obvious sign. Whenever I find the grave. Because, like, it could have been that tiny little thing back there.
That tiny fiend back there, that was not the bench. That wasn't the grave, was it? You're allowed to tell me, Twitch chat, if it, that was the grave or not. Oh, wait. Say that, Proxima, but I'm dense. There's no way to break the window. It looks like there should be a way to break the window. Wait, hang on. Is there a way to break the window? Because on the map, it like, op this room opens up a little bit, but eh. Well, that was a fat lot of nothing. Then this is, I believe, just a giant vertical shaft down to the deep nest. I've probably gone too far. A lot of stuff ruined the, the flower side quest. Okay, yeah, that's... That's not leading anywhere but the deep nest. Oh, that really looked like it would lead somewhere. I'll look up here, but I'm pretty sure I've already looked up here. Oh, I bet you the grave's gonna be past these freaking guys. It would be just like the game to make you have to go for that area no damage. This area looks kind of suspicious, but I can't interact with it. Yeah, that was a grubby spot. And I'm back to where I started. Is this always here? Oh, there it is. Protector of Root and Leaf, we on it. Yeah, that's, that's gotta be it. We can examine it and everything. Alright. Well, we found it. We have no flower there, so we can't set it down, but we we found it. Now I have to remember where we actually got the flower from, because I don't! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, wait, hang on. Actually, hang on. If I look at the map, I remember it was basically as far away as possible. 
I think we got it in the, uh... We got it in the Kingdom's Edge, I believe. Or was it Yzma's Grove? Yeah, it was somewhere around there. I remember it was on the right side. And I'm like, well, I can either brave the Forgotten Crossroads, or I can go for the Fungal Woods. And I went for the Fungal Woods. And I definitely think Fungal Woods is the way to go. But dear lord, some of these rooms are going to be awful to go through. <sighs> oh boy. It's not... No, we didn't get it in the Queen's Gardens. We, we have to bring it to the Queen's Gardens. Hmm... Fun, fun. No, no, you should not have watch a walk for the post game. You, I mean, you can if you want, but I we don't need it. We we I don't have any need for an additional person to know the game. I already have several people in chat who can nudge me in the right direction. Jeez, Louise, yeah, this game is enormous. Never would have expected it would be this big. Well, I'm out of time for tonight, everybody. Thank you for joining in. We actually did a lot. I fully went into this expecting we would not beat a single thing. But no, we beat Nightmare Grim. Didn't take too long. We beat Zoda a couple of times. And we got some new stuff. New, some new stuff that I'm probably never going to use. So that's what really matters, huh? All right. I bid you all a good night. Have a great rest of your night. And God bless.